Good day, Capricorn viewers. I am Sarah B, and you're tuning into Just Be Tarot. Thank you for your awesome energy. Thank you for hanging out with me, and thank you for uh, clicking on subscribe, liking this video, and clicking that notification bell. That'll let you know when I'm going live or posting new videos. Today, I am shuffling for the Capricorn Collective for this December 2022 Romance and Love Reading. So Spirit, what do the Capricorn Collective need to know for their greatest good in love for December 2022? 2022. It always sounds weird when I say that. <laughs> so they're shuffling for Capricorn, for love, and relationships for December. Thank you. Okay, so we have soul. Your soul is preparing to reconnect. Trust the process. Attraction. Divine soul counterpart attraction ascends superficiality. Okay, so I am hearing that you may be surrounded by somebody that you're not initially attracted to that your soul is attracted to um and when they say trust the process go with it let this grow organically just because it's not somebody that you find immediately attractive if your souls are attracted to each other, that's a divine connection. That's a soulmate connection. So I'm hearing to keep an open mind. Um, this might be somebody you're already dating or you have said, you know, fine, I'll just, you know, we'll go out. Keep an open mind to it. Um, there might be something more to this connection, a little something deeper. Um, because this is definitely a divine connection. I just keep hearing divine connection. So whether this person is in your life right now or is coming into your life very quickly, um, just trust that this is meant for your greatest good. You might not, like I said, you might not be initially attracted to this person, but it is an attraction. There's an attraction there for sure. All right, so let's move on to tarot. Here I am shuffling for the Capricorn Collective. What do they need revealed to them for their greatest good for December 2022? What do they need revealed to them for their greatest good for December 2022? What does the Capricorn Collective need? Thank you. Wow, this is a bunch of cards. Okay, so we have love. We have the Two of Fire. And the King of Fire. Let's see if I can get one more to start the reading. Oh, thank you. And the Hanged Man. Okay, so this is, like I said, this is first card is love strongest card is the first one pulled so love like I said this is a soulmate attraction this is somebody that you have a lot in common with um, might not necessarily be who you would normally be attracted to I think that's why you're at a crossroads with this um, you know he, he they click all the right boxes but is this somebody that I would normally be attractive to should I wait for somebody, you know, that I'm more, you know, that fits the more physical standard? No, go with it. This is an organic, an organic soulmate connection. How people are supposed to feel. Grow upon how you're feeling. Grow upon how, how this person fits into your life and fits into your soul. Looks and being attracted that way is irrelevant. It looks go. 
being attracted to the soul is is another level of being in love all right this person is is meant for you this person is totally in your dynamic totally is your is feels the same way you do you're on the same page with each other you just have to open your eyes and be enlightened to the fact that this person is more than what they see this person is meant to be in your life for a reason and is designated to be in your life for a reason the universe has brought them to you so let's uh, clarify love for the Capricorn Collective. What do you need? What does the Capricorn Collective need revealed regarding love? Thank you. Okay, so we have Paul, which is the judgment card and five of air. So I am seeing right now, I want to get another card, that you are holding on to um, the fact that this, this person uh is just not your type you're holding on to this um this superficiality now this could be somebody that's already in your life this could be somebody who has you know maybe flirted around the idea of hanging out with you or being with you or um, making it more than a friendship before and you kind of like scooched them off um but the more and more you hang out with them, the more your souls connect. But I am just getting this like you are trying to push them away. You are trying to manipulate the universe. This is a soulmate connection. You cannot manipulate the universe. They're going to keep coming back around. If this is your person, they're going to keep coming back around and, you know, getting under your skin and making you fall more and more in love with them until you give them the chance because this is... This is, you can't manipulate that. Okay, you're holding on to this, this shallowness that you need to let go of. You're, this is, you're being called to this person. This person is being called to you. You need to let go of that, that thinking you have that you're better than somebody else. Because this is a connection of the souls. Spirit, can we clarify the two of fire for our Capricorn Collective, please? Two of fire for our Capricorn Collective. Two of fire for the Capricorn, thank you. Okay, so we have the six of water. Three of Fire and the Hermit. Okay, so this might be somebody coming in from your past. Like I said, this could be somebody who tried to, to um, express their feelings from you from a previous time, maybe years ago. Um, but you just were like, uh, I don't know, you're waiting for something better to come along. Waiting for something better. This person, this has come to you before. And, um, you know, hinted around the fact that, you know, they're attracted to you, that you hung out with them a bunch. Um, but you always kind of just blew them off for something better to come along. Um, you're being asked to do some soul searching here on this. Something needs to change about it. This is... Um, ego maybe you need to do some shadow work work on your ego with this whole crossroads situation because you were you have been waiting for something better to come along and this person is is right in your energy this is a soul connection 
Okay, can we clarify the King of Fire for our Capricorn Collective? King of Fire, please. What do they need revealed about the King of Fire? Whoop! King of Fire. Okay, we have the Eight of Air. The Fool. I have one more card, please. One more card. Okay, so we have... I think innately you know that you're attracted to this person. You know that you have a lot of fun with them. You know that you have a higher connection with them. A higher level connection with them. Um, but you're in your head about it. You're afraid to take this next step with them. You're afraid to, to hop on this journey and this path with them. Um, but like I said, innately you know that this, this is meant for you. You know that this is a divine, a divine connection. And you're, you're, you're deathly afraid. Are you afraid to call this person, you know, your person? Or are you afraid of, are they going to break your heart? Or are you afraid of what they look like? What are you afraid of? You know this person. This is not somebody that you you ha don't have a connection with. I feel like there's already a connection here. Or there's going to be a huge connection when they come into your life. What is it that you're afraid to do here, Capricorn? Can we clarify the hanged man for the Capricorn Collective? Clarify the hanged man for Capricorns, please. Clarify the hanged man. Fortune's wheel. And yep, you're about to move on to another cycle. Spirit has you moving forward. There's a sneaky energy around you. Or are you being sneaky? Ten of water. I, I gotta clarify the seven of air. Okay, because we have well, fortune wheel is like you going to the next level. You're going to be completely happy, but then there's somebody that's sneaky here. Somebody who is manipulating. Somebody who is playing games in your energy. So let's clarify the seven of air. Okay, Spirit, why the seven of air for our Capricorn? Why the seven of air? Why the seven of air? We have the death card. And the Two of Wands. And so something ending. Okay. 
and the separation. There's been a death of something, so that's an ending. You've learned lessons. I feel like at one point you were I felt that at one point you were leading this person on. You were the ones who who were manipulating the situation. And that you finally got the revelation that you actually like this person. And that's what's going to cause your complete happiness. The universe revealed to you or your guardians or ancestors or, you know, guides that you actually do like this person. You are attracted to them on a higher level. And that you stopped your bullshit and started addressing this next cycle with this person who's going to make you completely happy. Which I love. Spirit, can I have some romance messages for our Capricorn Collective? Romance messages for our Capricorn Collective, please. Okay, we have playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. And we have forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. All right, and let's see. I'm going to pull a couple more messages from this final oracle deck to conclude the reading. All right, Spirit, can we conclude the reading with a couple more messages for our Capricorn Collective regarding love and romance in December? Okay, we have obsession. Someone in this connection is gripped by obsessive thoughts. And children, children are important to this partnership. <laughs> All right, Capricorns, this is where I'm going to leave you. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you for your awesome energy. And I love you guys so much. Thank you for staying to the end. Um, it really does uh, matter to me. It's super important for me. And um, it is appreciated. So if you'd like to book a personal reading, please see below in the description box. Click on like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you next time. Bye Capricorn.